good evening. It is 6 o'clock, so we'll go ahead and get ready to get started. First of all, I want to tell you guys that you look um, very good out there tonight. Don't they look good? They're all dressed up and nice. Okay. All right, well, I'm Mrs. Turner, the elementary principal. Um, it's my pleasure to welcome families, friends, teachers, and students to our Honors Night 2023. I feel honored to share with you the achievements of our hardworking young students. This is an occasion of pride as all of us come together to celebrate their achievements. And this award ceremony has been going on for, I think, years, other than a couple of COVID we didn't get to have it. This is one of our most treasured um, occasions of the school year as it provides us an opportunity to reflect on the preceding year and then provides us uh, a time to celebrate the achievements of these young students. We'll celebrate their success, achieved through their sheer hard work and perseverance of both of our students and as well as our teachers. Without our teachers and their help, they wouldn't be sitting here today. So I express my heartfelt gratitude to the teachers, to the parents, to you guys, and their support and their, your collective efforts towards the development of these young kids sitting here tonight. So whatever these students have achieved so far would have not been possible without your support. So we thank you for that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. Before we go any further, if you will stand, our flag is right up here. All right, students, face this way. Hand over your heart. Hey, I pledge allegiance to the flag. that's going to speak to the students tonight. He is a graduate of Forsyth. He graduated in 2022. He was the number one in his class. He just completed his first year at Washington University and his focus is on radiation oncology. He'll be leaving for Maryland this Sunday to conduct cancer research for the National Institute of Health. He attended Forsyth from uh, kindergarten through his senior year, he played football from first grade through high school, and now he also plays college football. So he has been very dedicated to his learning and his education. And at one point, when he was about your age, through first, second, third, fourth, he sat right here in the chairs uh, where you guys sat, and he set a goal for himself, and he has attained that goal. So we are excited to see what he does in the future. So I am honored to introduce to you Colin Cole. He is the son of Mrs. Cole. We thank you for having him tonight. Good evening, faculty members, family, friends, and of course, the bright and talented students of Forsyth Elementary. It is my honor and privilege to stand before you today as the honorary speaker for this award ceremony. I'd like to begin with a quick introduction of who I am. Uh, my name is Colin Cole, as already stated, and I graduated from Forsyth High School in 2022. I'm currently a student at Washington University in St. Louis, where I study biology on the pre-med track, and I also play college football. And that's enough talking about myself. Uh, today, we gather to celebrate the incredible achievements dedication, and hard work of the exceptional young minds of Forsyth Elementary. Each one of you has shown incredible determination, perseverance, perseverance, and the desire to excel, making this a truly special occasion this evening. To the students, let me begin by saying how proud I am of each and every one of you. Today, we recognize your outstanding accomplishments and the growth you have achieved. I had the opportunity to sit in the very same seats that you are currently sitting in about 10 years ago. Having attended these very award ceremonies as an elementary student, where I witnessed community leaders addressing us, it fills me with great honor to have the opportunity to speak to you today. 
If there is one vital lesson I've learned during my time as a student at Forsyth, it is that success extends far beyond the realm of awards and accolades. Our journey encompasses, encompasses invaluable lessons, cherished friendships, and the embodiment of core values. As you reflect on your own experiences of Forsyth, you will undoubtedly realize that your growth transcends academics alone. You have grown as individuals, embodying traits such as kindness, respect, teamwork, and resilience, qualities that will serve as a bedrock for your future. With these qualities is the act of setting goals. Goals are the building blocks of success, the roadmap that guides us towards our dreams and aspirations. And while it may seem like a concept more suited for adults, I believe that even at a young age, setting goals is a powerful tool that can shape the course of our lives. One of the keys to, uh, to successful goal setting is maintaining un uh, unwavering focus and determination. I can truly say that these attributes have made me the man that I am today. As a student in Forsyth, Missouri, distractions and obstacles will arise, but it is resilience and perseverance that will enable you to overcome them. When I was about your age, I told myself that I wanted to be nothing less than a roller coaster engineer. Fast forward to the day, I no longer want to be a roller coaster engineer, but rather I want to pursue the occupation of a doctor that treats patients with cancer. As I grew up, my interest shifted to medicine, but my goals remained the same to be the best that I could personally be, to push myself and put maximum effort into every task that I complete. With my experiences as an elementary student, middle school student, high school student, and now college student, I can truly say that if you put everything you can to the task at hand, you will see the outcomes that you desire. With this, I ask you to remember the importance of enjoying the journey. Setting goals should not be a rigid and joyless task. Embrace the process, savor the small victories, and celebrate your progress. Remember that personal growth and fulfillment lie not only in achieving the end result, but also in the lessons learned, the skills developed, and the relationships formed along the way. I remember talking with my mother when I was in second grade and telling her that I wanted to graduate number one in my class at Forsyth High School one day. That was quite a task for an elementary student that had accomplished almost nothing at that point. However, each perfect attendance and overall achievement that I received was a stepping stone to getting to that point. I had the desire to chase, uh, chase my goals more than anything else, and I had the opportunity to graduate number one in my class a year ago. However, when you accomplish one goal, it is essential to not hesitate to set the next. You cannot become complacent in your success as the world keeps moving. Behind each student in this room, there's an entire community of support, support starting with your parents and guardians who have nurtured and encouraged you. Their unwavering belief in your potential has been a driving force behind your achievements. Our community has fostered a nurturing and an empowering environment which has instilled into these students the confidence to pursue their very own dreams. Let us extend our gratitude to the dedicated teachers, mentors, and staff members who have worked tirelessly to guide and shape your young minds. It is some of these very staff members at Forsyth Elementary that pushed me to the point I am now. These individuals want nothing but the best for you. Their passion for education and their commitment to your growth are truly commendable. As you stand here today holding your well-deserved awards, remember that this is only the beginning of your journey. The road ahead may have challenges, obstacles, and setbacks, but do not let them deter you. Embrace those challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. Believe in yourselves, trust your abilities, and never be afraid to dream big. Remember that success is not measured solely by grades or awards, but by the positive impact you have on the world around you. You are the future leaders and innovators, not only of Forsyth, but of the entire world. Remember that your actions have the power to make a difference, no matter how big or small. So use your education, your talents, and your passions to create a world that is better, kinder, and more just. Hello, Dan. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Don't get up. Just get up. Sorry about that. So, in conclusion, congratulations once again to all the exceptional students being awarded tonight. You have worked hard and you deserve every bit of recognition that you have received this evening. Carry the lessons you have learned here with you as you embark on the next chapter of your life. Embrace every opportunity, face every challenge, and always strive for excellence. Your potential knows no bounds. Thank you. And may your future be filled with endless possibilities and remarkable achievements. All right. So when Colin, would you say second grade sitting there, he set a goal to have perfect attendance, top of his class. And I think he had perfect attendance from kindergarten through November of his junior year when he broke his arm and he missed he missed one day because he had surgery. So kudos to you, Colin Cole. That is pretty amazing. <laughs> Missing one day from your preschool years to your senior year um, is pretty hard to do. But he set that goal when he was your age sitting in your chairs and accomplished that goal. So it's never too early to start thinking about goals that you want to accomplish as you get older. Okay. So um, thank you so much for coming, Colin. We appreciate that. We're going to go ahead and we'll move on. Um, I'm going to introduce Mr. Volv, our assistant principal, and he's going to explain the awards that uh, we will be handing out this evening. They don't give me the microphone for very long, so I'll be brief. Um, we have a few awards to hand out tonight, and the first one is perfect attendance. This means you did not miss any minutes of school during this school year. Uh, the next board would be Outstanding Achievement. These are the, for the students that go far above and beyond where they need to be and are the best achievers in the, in the class. A lot of these are self-explanatory, but uh, the next one is one that's not quite as self-explanatory, and that's the Citizenship Award. The Citizenship Award is a, a great classmate. Uh, they're the ones that go above and beyond to try to help out their classmates, try to help them to understand, uh, maybe help with their homework or assignments and uh, just a great person to have in class. The next award after that would be the most improved. The most improved, of course, from where they start to where they finish, that's what we're looking for, of course, in our line of work is growth. We want everyone to learn. Um, so the ones that grew the most, that's the most improved. From there, we go over to our honor roll. These awards are the AB honor, honor roll, and I'm proud to say there are a lot of those. Uh, these are students, of course, their lowest grade was a B or better, for the entire year. And then there is the all A honor roll. Um, there's quite a few of those over here also. Those are the ones that are striving to be like Mr. Colin Cole and do the best that they can and get all A's. Um, like I said, I don't get the microphone very long, so I'm gonna hand it back to Mrs. Turner. Well, I like you have it. All right, we're gonna start with first grade. And we will go through and acknowledge first grade students and then we'll go down the road from there. So if I can have the first grade teachers step forward, please. We have Mrs. Ellison right over here, Miss King, Miss Cooley, and Mrs. Gabriel are our first grade teachers. And I, uh, before we get started, I will say that they've had their work cut out for them this year. They've had a pretty big, about 24 in the class, and teaching those students to read, and these kids have excelled and, and have grown, so um, good job, first grade teachers. Okay, we will start with the principals on a roll. These are students who have all A's, and we'll begin with Miss King's class, so if I call your name, just 
just like we did at practice. Boys and girls, you'll come forward, okay? All right, Jackson Birchfield. <laughs> Asher Finley. <laughs> Peyton Fitzsimmons. <laughs> hey, Miss Gabriels. All-A on a roll, Emma Ferguson. Waylon Jones, Levada Sutton, Sadie Tilly, Griffin Woody, Jace Day, and Brody Peebles. Good job, Ms. Gabriel's class. Okay, Miss Cooley's class, Matthias Anderson. Weston Gass. Ember Hopper. Lawson Oglesby. Jace Ryan. Okay, and Miss Ellison's principal's honor roll student, McKenna Box. <laughs> Ava Hunt. <laughs> Nolan Jones. <laughs> Camden Lacey. <laughs> Bryson Lawrence. <laughs> Samuel Mankey. <laughs> Gracie McCall. Levi Murray, <laughs> Bennett Olson, <laughs> hey, these are your principals on a roll for first grade. Good job, students.
Okay, this is Ellison's class. Berkeley Anderson. Bo Beer. Zephyr Cho. Cora Cook. Lennon McConnell. Lennon McConnell. Hey, these are your A.B. honor roll students for first grade. Okay, next we'll move on to the most improved. There's one student per class. Miss King's most improved is Theo Ball. This is Gabriel's most improved, Reed Gailey. <laughs> Miss Cooley's is Weston Gass. <laughs> and Miss Ellison's is Bo Beard. <laughs> These are your most improved students for first grade. Good job, guys. Award. Miss King, and there are two per class for citizenship. Makia Conte and Asher Finley are Miss King. <laughs> Mrs. Gabriel's citizenship goes to Lane Alfaro and Serenity Stoneburn. Miss Cooley's, Eden, Crack, and Matthias Anderson. <laughs> Miss Ellison goes to Cora Cook and Nolan Jones. And there's your first grade citizenship award. Congratulations. Alright, we will move on to overall achievement. Miss King's overall achievement award goes to Asher Finley. Mrs. Gabriels, we had a tie. Griffin Woody and Levada Sutton. Hey, Miss Cooley's Ember Hopper. And Miss Ellison, this goes to Bennett Olson. Good job, Bennett. Hey, there are your overall achievers. The first grade. Okay, you guys may have a seat. And we didn't have any perfect attendance for first grade. That's hard to do. Thank you, first grade teachers. Okay, and we will move on. We'll have second grade teachers come forward, please. Yeah, Miss Coffin, Mrs. 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 Campbell, and Mrs. Calhoun are our second grade teachers. Hey, 
we will start with the principal's honor roll, like we did first grade. Okay, second grade students, just like we practice, if we call your name, come up the middle, go to your teacher, then to Mr. Balava. Okay, we will start with Miss Cockout's class, Ravana Bessel, I think she's absent. Christina Gutierrez. Grace Reddy and Aiden Shiro. Miss Kolb's class, Jack Robinson. Addison Compton. And Bowen Parker. Mrs. Campbell's class, Taylor Davidson. And Mrs. Calhoun's, Blakely Lyrela. Reagan Wyman. Layla Gabriel. Miss Colts had a tie. Briley Wilson. 
Wilson and Jude Edwards. Mrs. Campbell's class, River Shaking Bush. And Mrs. Calhoun's Camden Garfield. And your most improved students for second grade. Citizenship Award. There's two per class. Miss Caulfield's class, Myrtle Going and Javier Alvarez. <laughs> Miss Colbs, Sterling Mitchell and Emerson Emery. <laughs> Mrs. Campbell's class, Luke Sanderson and Isabel Wright. Mrs. Calhouns, Liam Denny, and Olivia Havers. And your citizenship winners for second grade. For second grade, Miss Caulfield's class, Grace Redden. Miss Combs, Jack Robinson. Mrs. Campbell's, Kaylor Davidson. And Mrs. Calhoun's, Bella. Hey, these are your overall achievers for second grade. Good job. Hey, there was, I guess there wasn't any perfect attendance for second grade. I think we only had four total, or five, out of the whole. Okay, third grade teachers, if you'd like to step forward, please. We have Mrs. Daru, Mrs. Iyer, Mrs. Volva, and Mrs. Davidson. We will start with the principal's honor roll. If you guys notice, the older you get, there's less and less names on the LA honor roll. It's really hard the older you get to do. Okay, Miss Volva's class. Hagen Finley and Lily Lowe. Mrs. Daru, we have one student, Braxton Barrickman. Looking sharp. Hey, Mrs. Hires, Jake and Boyer, and Mackenzie Lawrence. We'll give a shout out to Mackenzie's mom real quick. Mackenzie's mom did, did the balloon arch for us back here. She's done a great job. And Mrs. Davidson's all in on a roll, Bailey Holly. These are your principals, on a roll students for third grade. Good job. Okay, A, B, honor roll for third grade. We'll start with Mrs. Baldas' class. Jackson Anderson. <laughs> Berkeley Houseman. Kendra Kirby. Kenley Pender. Helen Schaefer. Adam Sutton. 
and Taylor Bobrock. Mrs. DeRue's class, Aviana Rowe, Tucker Dieter, Chloe Langer, Camden Rogers, Kaden Duvall, Nora Kramer, Jonathan Brantley, and Zoe Young. Mrs. Hires class, Kylie Carlson, Patty Kaka, Alexis Williams, Emmett Youngs, Noah Campbell, Abigail Goer, and Leela Goodall. Hey, Mrs. Davidson's class, Mason Kraus, Lily Wolf. Okay, those two are absent. Hey, these are your AB Honor Roll students for third grade. Mrs. Volova's most improved student, Rosalind Dieter. Mrs. DeRue's student is Jackson Davis. Mrs. Hire's most improved, Landon Lobus. And Mrs. Davidson's most improved, Creed Osborne. Okay, hey, third grade most improved students. Okay, we'll move on to citizenship. Mrs. Volibus, the two per class, Kristen Carlson and Paisley Napier. Mrs. DeRue's Citizenship Award winners, Nora Kramer and Tyler Johnson. Mrs. Hires class, Jacob Boyer and Kylie Carlson. Mrs. Davidson, Kira Revere, and Ellie Aldrich. Good job, guys. Ready. Hey, overall achievement for Mrs. Wallabus class, Hagen Finley. Mrs. DeRue's class, Braxton Berrickman. And Mrs. Hires, Mackenzie Lawrence. And Mrs. Davidson's class, Bailey Holly. Okay, here's your overall achievement winners for third grade. And we did have perfect attendance for, um, we have two, no three, out of third grade. Out of Ms. Volva's class, these students have had perfect attendance, Lyrics Open Chain and Taylor Volva. Miss Davidson's class, Landon Harrington. Okay, 
third grade perfect attendance. Thank you, third grade teachers. If fourth grade teachers would come forward, please. All right, we have Mrs. Brown, Mrs. Robertson, Mrs. Volga and Mr. Mathis, our fourth grade teachers. We will start with uh, principals on roll, all A's. We'll begin with Mrs. Brown's class, Keegan Adams. Jada Lawrence. Riley McCall. Yanni Sakulis and Kaylee Steele. <laughs> Mrs. Bolivar's fourth grade, Aubrey Trowbridge, <laughs> Riley Davidson, <laughs> Laney Rogers. And Mr. Mathis's class, Principal Honorable, Lila Barr, Blakely Bailey, and Christian Rich. And Mrs. Robertson's, all A on a roll, Chael Yarnell. These are your principal honor roll students for fourth grade. Good job. Okay, we'll move on to AB honor roll. Mrs. Brown's class. Carter Braden. Grayson Brown, Raylan Rogers, Bentley Davis, Skyla Huffaday, Lucas Lee. Mrs. Bolivus, AB on a roll, Casey Harrington, McCoy Stringer, and Mackenzie Campbell. Mr. Mathis's AB on a roll, Dominic Obenchain, Gabriel Mudd, and Mallory Young. Mrs. Robertson's AB honor roll, Jordan Bodie, Joshua May, Wyatt Stray, Gunner Doolittle, and Danielle Stanley. These are your AB honor roll students for fourth grade. Okay, most improved for Mrs. Brown's class, Leah Harrington.
Mrs. Volibus Quentin Hall. Mr. Mathis's class, Blakely Bailey. And Mrs. Robertson's is Jordan Bodie. Congratulations, guys. A citizenship award, there's two per class. We'll begin with Mrs. Brown's class, and the citizenship award winner, winners for her class are Carter, Braden, and Kaylee Steele. Mrs. Volva's class, Ruger Lewis, Wade Schaefer. Mr. Mathis's is Lincoln Cooper and Isabel Fibash. And Mrs. Robertson's, Callie Layton and Jordan Bowie. Well done, guys. Hey, over. Achievement for Mrs. Brown's class, Keegan Adams. <laughs> Mrs. Wallace, Riley Davidson. <laughs> Mr. Mathis, Lila. Barr. And Mrs. Robertson's class, Asher Burnett. Congratulations to the overall achievement members. Good job. We had two perfect attendance award for fourth grade out of Miss Valda's class, Payson Harrington. And out of Mr. Mathis's, Lila Barr. You can come back up here, Lila. Good job, guys. That is hard to do. All right, give them all one more round of applause. It's all good for the students. Hey, I have uh, just a couple other announcements. I'd like to make one announcement. Uh, Where's Mrs. Coffo? Okay, will you come up? Will you stand up? Will you just stand up or come up for a second? Okay, Mrs. Coffo will, um, she's retiring after this year. She has taught at Forsyth for 33 years. So 35 years. Come up for Mrs. Coffo. We are going to miss her. Great. Look at these parents coming around. She's got second generation. Okay, she has touched a lot of lives, and we thank her for that. She's going to be best. Thank you, Mrs. Coffin. All right, I would just like to, in closing real quick, I want to just thank you guys for attending and for, uh, for all that you do for these kids. And our teachers, like I said, work tirelessly day in and day out, and I could not thank them enough. I would like to thank Dr. Wingus and Dr. Boyer for their continued support um, of everything that we need or ask for. Um, they're always there to support us. I would like to thank Mr. Valda, assistant principal. Um, he's been a huge asset to this building um, and we're lucky to have him as well. Um, Mrs. Woody for both of them helping us. Mrs. Robertson who coordinates honors night and Mrs. Brown who's helping her. Um, Tyler Braden and his custodial staff for setting this up for us and getting this ready. We thank them. 
and Tyler Knight in the technology department. And this is streamed. Um, I think you got a link where you can watch this or send it to your family if they're able to attend tonight. So thank you and be safe going home. You may come down and grab your students and take care.